Okay, number 11 in my one of 14. We're just around the back of the castle here in Canterbury. And if you saw the previous video, then you know why I'm doing this one. I'm gonna go around the city of Canterbury on the Reams Way and the dual carriageway that goes all the way around. It's not all dual carriageway, but it's an interesting drive. And so we'll join just outside Canterbury East, but joining on the one-way stretch of the anti-clockwise route. And we'll get back to the same place. Can I do it in 10 minutes? That's the challenge. <laughs> Along with any hazards that we see. I think for the most part it's all going to be people chopping lanes, people not indicating, so I'm just going to be watching out for that kind of stuff. But it could be just a, a pleasant little run all the way around the city. I don't think we get to see much of the castle wall here, it does go all the way around, but they're renovating the castle and it's just a, a dormant shell but I've seen scaffolding around it and I'm suddenly thinking, has Canterbury Christchurch College bought the castle and they're going to turn it into student lets? <laughs> because I wouldn't put it past them, to be quite honest. <laughs> Make use of all the um, unused properties. <laughs> castle lets. Complete with a, I don't know, a kebab shop at the bottom or something. That and bang goes the heritage taxi. Oh, he's in his lane. I was gonna say, taxi driver's just cruising out, but he's in his lane, so he kind of knew. Right, we're out of the dual carriageway, and it's single carriageway all the way around till we get back to the Reams Way. So we're going around the castle walls, Westgate Towers, all of that kind of stuff. So, and it's a city. Watch out for people just randomly crossing the road. across the next roundabout so I'll stay in the left lane which will then become the middle lane to go across everyone's indicating right I shall assume they're all going right but never assume anything as Benny Hill once said right if you know you know red lights I've still not been inside Riverside Square. I wonder what it is. If they've got a cinema and coffee shop and a gamers hub and a mart. I never understand why they build these things with wood and then don't treat the wood. And then it all rots. Bad planning on the developer's side. I want to go left at this next roundabout, so I shall indicate left roundabout now. I'm assuming the disabled vehicle in front is going straight across because he's not indicating. A little over cautious on the um, junction. Golf didn't indicate. New 
zebra crossing ahead. I don't know how new this is. It could be like 10, 15 years old now. I didn't see a speed sign and I'm not seeing reminders, so I'm guessing 30 miles an hour. Currently doing 20. It's not a bad thing around the city, is it? Now we're entering a 20 zone. So that was clearly 30 then. No indication from the Golf. It's obviously got its fuse blown on his indicators. Way round, six minutes on the clock. Might be less because I was chatting, wasn't I, at the beginning? Want to go left at this mini roundabout and through the Westgate Towers. No indicates from the Polo, the Cougar. Skoda didn't indicate. It's not even indicating right or left. The golf will it indicate? Probably not, because they're all allergic to their indicators. Don't touch that indicator stalk, might get a blister on your finger. Ooh, a squeaky belt type. Oh, I got through all right. Still a 20 zone. Currently doing 10, just in case you were wondering. Nearly at the um, conclusion though, so that's not bad. Nice little run. if I can wind up at exactly the same place where I started. <laughs> did I hand out some raspberries today? It's been a long time since I did. Right, he's gone in the right hand lane. Are they indicating off? Subaru did. Oh, he went all the way around the roundabout and didn't indicate at all. What a does infuriate me, people who don't use their um, indicators. There's the castle on the left. Actually got a castle here in Canterbury. I don't know if you can visit it, but they've got all the scaffolding and stuff up. Interesting. That's one for Tudor Travels if ever they open it. Back down here, we did the whole circumference of the city in less than 10 minutes. I'm looking on the clock, 9 minutes 31 it's saying, but it might be less because I always have a, a bit of chop chop, don't I, especially at the beginning. There's the Skoda that didn't indicate. And we can stop exactly where I started. How about that? Fabulous. Number 11 of 14. And that was a, a, a ring road of Canterbury. Um, and I got impatient and frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should stop driving now. But I've got one more to knock out, knock out before I go back to um, son's grandson's football match. So um, thanks for watching and bearing with. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Drive with care.